Hey guys, it's Shayna and today I am going to show you how to create your very own DIY gingerbread house with most of the items coming from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get to it. Starting off, we're going to need to stick all of this candy to the house somehow, right? So we're going to need to make our own work garland. This is something that you can buy out of the store. I made mine out of tinsel and pipe cleaner and some deco mesh. I do apologize for the shakiness when I get in my DIY mode, I just want to get it done. So work with me. So basically you're just going to take your deco mesh, if you decide to use it, it's not an absolute must, but you're gonna pinch it together and then take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around to secure it in place. I hung the garland from the house using a couple of nails and just hammering them into the border. Leave the ends of the pipe cleaner sticking out so that you can secure your candies to them. And whatever's left over, just push it around to the back, twist it up, and hide it. One little quick tip is to use pipe cleaners that are the same color as whatever you're trying to attach to your work garland. It blends in a lot better and it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, like the little candy box on the left. And speaking of candy, we're going to go ahead and make our lollipops. For this project, you're going to need some cellophane. I got mine from the craft store. You'll also need solid color paper. I'm using the inside of wrapping paper. I'm going to use a beach ball, but you can also use a basketball or any spherical object. You'll need some PVC pipe, scissors, and zip ties. For this project, you're just gonna cover the ball with your paper, or if you painted it, you can skip this step. And then you're also going to cover it with the cellophane. I made the cellophane a little bit longer than the paper so that the cellophane would cover the paper once it was wrapped up. Then you're just gonna fold the sides together. I found I got more coverage by pressing in the center and then kind of wrapping, wrapping it like a package as opposed to just bunching it all together. I lined up the PVC pipe with the belly button of the ball just so that it would make it easier if I needed to reinflate it. Finally, grab your zip tie and pull it as tight as you possibly can. And this will make sure that your lollipop will stand upright and be able to withstand the elements should it snow or rain. Cut the zip tie and cover it with a lovely bow. And here you have your lollipop. To keep the lollipop upright, I used a wooden dowel that I hammered into the ground and you just drop the lollipop on there and you're good to go. Now we're going to make our life-sized candies. For this project, you're gonna need ribbon, glue sticks and a hot glue gun, cellophane, and scissors. You're also going to need various shapes and sizes of styrofoam plates. To make your candies more dimensional, just glue them together. It's not rocket science, just put a little bit of glue on the edges and press them together. Then you'll wanna grab your cellophane and make sure it covers the plate completely. And then take your hot glue gun and glue that baby together. I personally glued all the way across to try to keep as many bugs out of them as possible. And I also put a few dabs of glue on the edges to keep them from moving when you put your ribbon around the ends. Just a little dab will do ya. Finally, you'll want to flip the candy over and attach your ribbon. 
once you get it secure you can curl it you can leave it it's totally up to you get as fancy as you want so it should end up looking something like this and you also have the option of using like the to-go boxes um, that are definitely three-dimensional just close them up and wrap them with the cellophane or if you don't want your plates to look like plates you can cover them with wrapping paper and then cover them with cellophane and before we go I just wanted to show you a few little details I took two candy canes and attached them to the side of the house with push pins and pipe cleaners I also found these adorable little yard stakes at the Dollar Tree to and I just stuck them in the bushes just to add a little bit more character to the house. We also have gingerbread inflatables. If you want to see those, you'll have to head over to social media. And while you're there, go ahead and show off your style by hashtagging DIY with Shayna. I would love to see what you guys came up with. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and share this video. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.